it doesn't get any better than this, does it? It's the 24mm f1.8 Zeiss lens E mount for APS C cameras. And there's a bit of a story behind this if you watched my unboxing. So I paid full price for this on Amazon. And when it arrived, it wasn't sealed, but it had this put on it, covered with all this dust. So I wasn't particularly impressed with that. And this box has definitely seen better bait, better day. So it looked like they gave me uh, an open box and charged me full price for it. So it was going to be returned anyway. But before I, I did, the first thing I did was take the back cap off here and there was loads of dust or something under the actual glass that I couldn't get to. So that was <laughs> aided to the disappointment as well. You know, I was so excited to get this lens. It was going to be the lens that stayed on my camera all the time. This was going to be my go-to lens. So what I did, I decided to work out whether I wanted a replacement from Amazon or whether whether the lens wasn't any that great really because it's seriously expensive so got the tripod went out took the pancake lens the kit lens the 16 to 50 took the sigma 30 millimeter f 2.8 dn art and took this took 20 photos off a tripod with the kit lens this lens and the and the sigma and then got a few friends in Lightroom to A to B the whole lot. Now, the test was if my friends had chosen consistently, not 100%, but if they would have chosen consistently that this lens here produced the better results, then it's worth the money. That's how I always look at things. They didn't choose this lens once. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm so disappointed. Seriously, I don't know where to go from here because I'm kind of running out of lenses to try and test. Maybe even if they had chose it the once or twice, I would have said, oh, well, I'll stick it on. It's, it's ice, you know, it's got to be the best. Guys, it, in a few occasions, they chose the kit lens and they were, they were zooming in. They were pixel peeping. Um, some just looked at the initial pictures and said yeah I prefer that one the winner was the Sigma 30 millimeter for all the pictures portraits landscapes everything followed by the kit lens 16 to 50 kit lens with this failing miserably last in my use this is better in low light apart from that it has won nothing from me it got off to a bad start don't get me wrong arriving in, in this condition so I was probably a little biased maybe but my friends weren't they didn't know what was what they aren't um, massively into photography but it was obvious you know I was looking over their their shoulder we're using a 4k monitor and I was looking over their shoulder and I couldn't see in the bottom right of Lightroom where it tells you what the lens is I could only see the A to B and every time I, I was picking the same as what they were picking and then when I actually leaned in to grab the mouse and tell them what one was the thousand bucks and what one was basically free with the camera <laughs> it was even I was choosing the kit lens I can't believe I mean I've slagged the kit lens off in the past just like everyone else and yeah the kit lens sucks at 50 millimeter everything beats the kit lens at 50 millimeter but at 24 I don't know whether it's some kind of a, a sweet spot I tried shooting in um, f8 then I tried it in um, landscape mode and it, it picked an f11 and then I tried some others um, shooting shooting raw shooting jp I tried everything man I wanted to love this lens because it let's be honest you know it looks cool right it's because ice you pull out your camera yeah you know if you don't go and buy a Ferrari you can't even drive over the speed limit but you've got a Ferrari yeah so that's why I wanted it to impress and <laughs> 
Oh, seriously, I don't know. What can I do? What can I do? I don't know what to tell you. It just, it just sucked. It really just sucked. And I don't know why it sucked. It's possible this is a bad copy. I've had the 16 to 70, and that sucked. It was decentered. The 55, I tried it on the 6000, and it, it was beaten by the Sigma 60 millimeter. So maybe I should learn my lesson. Maybe I should know by now that it isn't always glorious when it's got the Zeiss badge on it. I don't know what to tell you. Leave a comment below if you can explain this phenomenon. I can only tell you real world. I don't care, DxO Mark might have this one megapixel sharper or something. What does it matter? If you're showing the pictures to people, that's the most important thing. And if they're picking that kit lens, then I'm not dropping a grand on this. So there you go. I'm a bit vexed right now. Guys, it's been emotional. This is going back to Amazon. Boom.